Hello business minds and entrepreneurs. Welcome back to Business Mind Talks channel. They say, it takes a special kind of mind to build a billion dollar empire. Today, we crack the code of Ray Dalio, the founder of Bridgewater Associates, the world's largest hedge fund, and unlock the secrets of his billionaire mindset. Buckle up because we're about to dive deep into the wisdom of a man who's seen the market soar and crash, yet emerged every time stronger and wealthier. Rule number one, embrace radical transparency. Forget sugarcoating. Dalio thrives on radical transparency, challenging assumptions and seeking the best ideas, even if they come from the newest in turn. Embrace feedback, even the harsh kind, and cultivate a culture of intellectual honesty around you. Everybody has a responsibility, um, the right and responsibility to make sense of things. In other words, it's got to make sense to you. And if something doesn't make sense to you, you should bring it up. You shouldn't talk behind somebody's back or, or, or gossip. And you know, too, too many people talk about the uh, other people, what they're doing wrong, except they don't talk to those people about what they're doing wrong. So they don't know whether they're actually doing them wrong or not. They haven't heard the other side. And they're not being productive. I, I, so that's terrible. I, and also, the organizations for me that in which arbitrary decisions are made are terrible. Um, you know, a boss, two bosses will get together and have a conversation of what a particular person is like. And, and then they'll call the person into the room and then they'll say, ah, oh, Harry, and then they'll give them spin. Spin is terrible. It, it undermines trust, and, and, and so we have a policy of um, uh, taping everything and letting everybody watch it and look at it, and then having thoughtful conversations about that. And um, there's, uh, if you're coming into the company, it, you're, you go there because you believe that uh, understanding what is true and that ra radical transparency to understand what's true and have thoughtful conversation about it, including harsh realities is healthy. And so it's the embracing of reality. What is the reality, including what mistakes and, and what weaknesses, so that I can learn from those mistakes or learn how to deal with those weaknesses in order to be successful. So yes, that's in, embedded. That's, that's, those are the ground rules. Um, you know, the ground rules. That's how to have an idea meritocracy. In other words, if you want to have a real idea meritocracy, that's not doesn't have any barriers to it. We'll go wherever truth leads us. Um, that's what we, what's what we do, and that's very powerful. That's that's where the success comes from. Well, we've had radical success, um, and that's where it's come from, because it also allows independent thinking, right? I need independent thinking because if you're going to make a position in the markets. It has to be, uh, it can't be with the consensus, and you don't know if you're going to be right or wrong. So you have to test it. It's very powerful. And it's also, it's so silly not to do that because of these ego barriers. Why wouldn't you have those conversations? It's not logical not to. Unfortunately, we have, uh, most people in there have not been raised with the notion that knowing what your weaknesses are is pleasurable. Also, the issue of um, uh, pain is associated with bad, and pleasure is associated with good, and that's not true. That most, uh, all growth, you can't get stronger physically or mentally unless you're having pain, because you're stretching yourself, you're going into a, a new level. So pain is good if you're exercising, right? Let, let, go exercise at the gym. It starts off painful, but as you start to get going with it and you start to see the benefits of it and you start to change your, actually your brain physiology in terms of what actually determines whether it's painful or not, it becomes pleasurable. 
So a behavior modification usually takes place over about 18 months of doing something. And so you start to get into an environment where it's pleasurable. And in our case, uh, we call it getting to the other side. People come in and they're originally, they look at this and they say, oh, I made a mistake, I feel pain about that. Or I'm identifying some weakness and I feel pain about that. And then after doing it enough and seeing the feedback, then they begin to realize that it's producing benefits to them and they begin to like it and they begin to worry about being in an environment that they won't have that. That if they go into a normal environment, they're gonna have dishonesty. They're gonna have people seeing the same things, thinking the same things about them, but not telling them. They won't have an opportunity to have a discussion. They won't know whether it's truthful or not that they're operating. So it'll all be under the covers. And so they're fearful that they won't actually know either what their mistakes are or the people will be making judgments without being able to have a quality conversation. So that's the choice. Which environment would you rather be in? You, you have to decide for yourself. Um, which environment would you rather be in? That, people are, that you know that there's going to be conversations about what people think about you and an honest exploration of whether that's true or not? You can avoid all that. Rule number two, befriend pain and embrace mistakes. Pain is inevitable, but how you handle it matters. Dalio views mistakes as learning opportunities, using them to refine your decisions and build resilience. Embrace discomfort, learn from your failures, and turn them into stepping stones to success. You learn from mistakes and you learn from pain. Like I say, you know, you can scratch the car, but you can't total the car. Okay, you, mistakes is one of the base, best sources of learning, right? Successes mean you do the same thing over again, and okay, that's fine. But uh, mistakes that are painful stick. When I look back on my career, I think that the mistakes were the best things that happened to me. I remember my mistakes better than my successes. Somehow there must have been more of the successes to get me where I am, but I remember all the mistakes, and I remember the lessons. So that's what I mean by pain plus reflection equals progress. So yeah, it's okay for you to uh, make mistakes. It's not okay for you to not learn from those mistakes. That's a principle in there, right? And so you have a culture that operates this way. If you don't have a culture that operates this way, it's not gonna be self-reinforcing. And so the reason I'm talking about um, these types of principles rather than my economic and investment principles, which will come out in the next book, is because these are the most fundamental principles which are the basis of success. And they're not just an investment, it's how investment firms' principles, it's not just a hedge fund's principles, it's like a principles of how we're gonna deal effectively with each other. Now, before we continue unraveling the secrets of financial success, I want to share an exciting opportunity with you. If you're eager to implement these financial success strategies into your own life, consider checking out our exclusive online courses. The Cashflow Academia. Designed to empower you on your journey to wealth creation. These courses provide step-by-step -step guidance, practical tips, and real-world applications. Elevate your financial IQ and start building your path to success today. Check the link in the description for more details, and enroll now. Let's continue unlocking the secrets to financial success. Rule number three, think for yourself and challenge the consensus. In order to be successful in the markets, you have to be an independent thinker who bends against the consensus because the consensus is in the price. So, and also nobody's good enough to know themselves that they can, all the answers. So, you know, I learned by having, you know, the shit kicked out of me uh, a fair amount of time. I learned a certain amount of humility, and then I knew that I didn't have enough of the right answers, so I wanted a bunch of independent thinkers, and so when you get in thinker, independent thinkers, then how do you get past that? And you, you know, you're gonna wanna have an idea meritocratic process. Rule number four, cultivate a, be open-minded yet strong-willed attitude. Be a chameleon, not a tortoise. Stay flexible and adaptable to market shifts, but don't compromise your core values or principles. Learn from new information, refine your strategies, 
but stay true to your core beliefs and vision. People are so attached to being right, and yet the tragedy is it's, it could be so easily to find out how you're wrong. If you just said to yourself, I don't, um, I'm not sure that I'm right, and let me go find people who have alternative point of views, and let me have quality conversations, not to pay attention even to their conclusion, but to their thought process. So thoughtful discussion, worrying about being wrong, but not to the sense of being paralyzed or uh, moving forward, but in the sense of trying to create discovery, uh, to have um, <clears throat> an exchange, to go after the person who has the most different point of view, who is the most thoughtful, and then have a conversation to see their point of view, whether a person could be both open-minded and assertive at the same time, that that creates a discovery process, it creates a fabulous learning. And that process it, it itself reduces the probability of being wrong and produces a great deal of learning. People are so hung up on being right, starting their discussion, and being deriving some sort of satisfaction if at the end of the discussion they were where they began the discussion. So that doesn't make any sense because there's not going to be any learning. Ray Dalio's billionaire mindset isn't about just making money, it's about building a life of meaning, success, and continuous evolution. Apply these principles to your own journey, embrace the challenges, and watch your own version of financial success unfold. Remember, the path to a billionaire mindset starts with a single step, and the only person stopping you is yourself. Thanks for watching. If you found this video a helpful one, please like, subscribe, and hit that notification bell.